Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Dreamscaper 1.0. Dreamscaper is an action roguelike where you kill your nightmares with weapons, as far as I'm aware. I've been wanting to play this for a very long time, but it was always just like, eh, 1.0 can't be that far away. 1.0 can't be that far away. Well, guess what? It's Now it's really not that far away. It's out. So we're going to check it out. I uh, It's been a long time coming. I'm, I'm really pumped to see what this game has to offer. Uh, it has always had a very neat visual style, which, I mean, I think that that is apparent already. Holy moly. Oh my god. Just like the, the style, it's just absolutely amazing. Very, very dreamlike, which is, let me guess, on purpose. Going up to visit that gravestone, perchance? Okay, move around. It's just I, can't, I keep on not being able to tell because it's so dang, uh, so dang cinematic all the time that we even like even here with the fixed camera angles. This is giving me like Resident Evil fixed camera vibe, but very nice and warm, <laughs> and not Resident Evil esque in any other way. Ten years later, we had a bad dream, and then ten years later. Leaving back hill. God, this looks amazing, though. Oh, my. Holy. Afterburner Studios. I'll, I'll try not to just talk about how good this looks the whole time. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. Because we can find some more interesting commentary than that. I mean, you know, maybe after we get to the gameplay. I guess I will have something. But just the, the style. The no face thing is super creepy, though, to me. But Dungeons of the Immortal. Would you like to play the tutorial? Sure thing. Okay. So... It we're playing Dungeons of the Immortal. I wonder, is the game actually going to be laid out like this? Or, or is this really just... Is it just making it clear that we're, like, in a video game type thing here? Uh, if you time your combos with the white flashes, you will perform a perfect attack. Oh, I love it. I'm a sucker for that stuff. Legend of Dragoon, let's go! So, middle mouse to guard break. Can we, like... That one doesn't seem to have a flash. Correct. The guard break does not have a flash. You can hold both a ranged and a melee weapon. Shift to... Is it shift aim? I mean... Bop! Oh, we gotta, we gotta charge it up, and then there's a perfect, uh, perfect attack for that as well. It does recommend playing with, uh, with controller, but I am, uh, I'm a heathen. Okay, so we can dodge. We had we had to pick something up. Do we is this an ability that we have to get in the future? Like we got a shield there too. There's also a I'm noticing. Look at that. There's a there's a flash after our dodge as well. Okay, so we can block or we can attempt a parry. Oh! Okay, that felt great. Just the, the core feeling right now is, is pretty neat. Q for the primary lucid attack. Okay. That's kind of interesting. Lu we got uh, uh, some lucid dreaming vibes going on here. Lucid attacks each have their own cooldown. Okay. Is it... I can press Q or E to do it. It's not that there's two. Some rooms will have unique events. This fountain fully charges dream rush. Okay, tab to dream rush, it's a toggle, it slows down time until your lucid energy is exhausted. Okay, we gotta get that. 
Does it slow us down like a little bit too or no? Ah, he, I can't get the timing. Dream Rush will automatically recharge as you encounter more combat rooms. Some rooms will be locked. Keys can be found by smashing destructibles or defeating enemies. Gotcha. So I guess, uh, yeah. Is the game lay laid out in the, the t more stereo, not stereotypical, but more uh, familiar dungeon format? I've, I've gone in like really unspoiled on this game. What? Oh, Z to drop a bomb. Okay. Duh. Okay. Uh, ha, ha. Very smart. I just I went over here and I saw unlock and I was like, I don't know, that's it. Bombs can also be used in combat to deal heavy damage. There's like a mouse sensitivity kind of deal going on though. Where it's like a little too low. Still a little too low. I'm a I'm a sucker for mouse sensitivity though, what can I say? Oh, that's better. Bombs can also be used in combat to deal heavy damage. Gotcha. M to fast travel to a previous... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ooh. I love when a roguelike has uh, teleporting systems that do not waste your time. If you're going to be able to backtrack, if it's not going to be like a Hades one-track kind of a thing, give me the ability to teleport to any room at the like whenever I'm not in combat, please. Okay, so, so, yeah, this is what I've seen before. So this makes more sense. Uh, trigger a lucid attack by pressing either Q or E. Yes, yes. So we can go in any of these rooms here. I, yeah, I love the, uh... I love the fact that we're kind of just in a nice, beautiful outside world here. Uh-oh. Do you have a shield? No, no, sir, you do not. I can't get my timings right. Oh, you are a chunky boy. So that's right. We do have the bow and arrow. Is there... Do we have ammo? Or is it just like... I'm not noticing any ammo going down anywhere. So I think that we are just good to go there. So there's a timer and a bomb here. What's the timer? What is that timer supposed to imply there? We're out of keys. Gotcha. Is that just... It's not just saying the room we're in, is it? We shall see. We shall see. Also, I don't know what that hand is. We can bomb it. Okay. The bomb is... Or that The hand is just a bomb. Bomb spot. Burger house. Okay. So this is a chest. Weave two. Okay. One time speed, a companion that will occasionally buff Cassie's damage by 15% for four seconds. Okay. Swap between what? Roll. What? Okay. So it is about the same. A companion will occasionally buff my damage by 15% for four seconds. And also the, the ranged energy consumption, which didn't really look like anything I was that worried about. Because we can't rapid fire. We cannot rapid fire to the point that looks like uh, we would have to care about that. But, sure. I'm probably going to miss having the... Uh, whoop, having the dodge roll, though. Okay, that dodge feels nice, though. And I do like that the tutorial was... <laughs> Poor man. The story was nice and clean and short. And again, like, the fact that we have this typical dungeon format, but it is following the, uh, like, this more traditional nature forward, like, just typical buildings kind of stuff like that. I really like that. That feels, that feels fresh. Uh, oh, jeez. What is it again? Oh, my God. Z. Okay. Okay, so that's a turret. I just had, I mean, I had no idea what the hell that was. That was until later. Secrets? Nothing? Okay. All right. So are the, uh, we picked up that and we got more of that, like, little hourglass resource down there. 
Good stuff. Good stuff. New bomb. So I guess I'm, I'm going to assume that that's our gold, like, our, our basic kind of a resource. Health potion, small. Okay. Is it an instant use? Kind of kind of appears to be the case. This seems like a thing that'll explode. I gained 25 re resolve. Am I supposed to kill this? Seems like it. How to... I mean, I guess I can just kill it with range, I suppose. I'm assuming that's a boss over there to the right. We're not doing great for health. Hi. Not doing great for health. Grasp of the Shadow. 24 times 4 damage. It's, I mean, we're going to pick it up because it looks like it's for a thing where we, um, we don't have anything in that slot anyways. Poisons. 3 poison DPS for 10 seconds. 27 times 4. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So this is where the whoop, where the keys would be, I think. All right. Do we have we have one key? I you know I'll I'll use it. I'll give it a go if we need to. All right. So are there uh, straight up legit whoop? different weapons as well. Can we... Can we do a cool? I mean, maybe we can. And I just timed it wrong. We probably, oh, probably can do a cool. There was some stuff to break there. There's another burger house. Katana! Ah! 32 DPS, 10% extra sand collected, which I think is the resource for, uh, you know, the, the money thing. Interesting. I mean, I really like the, um... Seems apparently there's a bomb here? Or no, is it just saying that there's there's leftover loot here? I'm, I'm thinking that's what it is. That that thing that I, looks like a bomb to me, I think, is just loot. We got glass? Who freaking knows, man? Secret room? Okay, okay. Looks like we got, like, undermine rules there for secret rooms, which I really dig. Holy crap, this is so cool looking. What is this now? Boosty Fuego. Okay, I like it. It's a ranged weapon. 35 fire DPS burns. Projectile speed up, perfect attack damage up. I mean, I'll definitely take it. It is a, it's a flamethrower. It's just straight up a flamethrower. We do use a little bit less uh, resources with our ranged attacks, uh, so that's something. I'm liking it. I'm digging this. this is nice. Quaint. All right, so we'll, we'll unlock. Sure. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. We've got, we've got 371. Unlocked by daydreaming. Increase the damage of fire attacks. Uh, Yeah. Like, we should probably just do that, right? We can afford it. Oh my god, it's so... I'm sorry. It's so it's so beautiful. I just love it so much. Apparently there's a potion on the ground here. I'm having a tough time noticing all of the, uh, the little bits and bobs that are being left on the ground. Something about being so zoomed out, but the perspective is... Um, there's apparently something I can blow up here. Or I, oh, I guess I'm just, I can just break it. Something about being so zoomed out. And it's like... It's not even uh, isometric perspective. It's like... Whoop. Oh! Oh! It's even, uh, it's even lower to the ground. I don't think I've got... I haven't got the timing quite right on the katana in combat. I think it's because there's like a little bit of stutter framing uh, on hits. Like that thing that action games do typically to... Um, to showcase, you know, something cool going on. Is this supposed to imply that's a secret room? I don't have any bombs, so I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to tell anyways. Alright. What could possibly go wrong? We've not used our time uh, time stop as well. 
but we can do that in the boss fight. We've not been using our ability. We just haven't had to, so. All right. This will... Assuming this is going to summon a boss. Oh, my. Fear. Did I hit with it? Oh, I hit... I hit you, okay. Oh my god. Did I have to did I have to perfect dodge that? Was that like Oh my god, this is silly. Yep. Two so we have to hit the bomb to get them to flip over. Did I, did I dodge? Am I dodging it? I think I am. I think it's doing that where it's saying, like, you got a perfect dodge. Maybe we can uh, reflect it back. You be better believe it. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's some damage. All right. So we don't even have to hit it too hard there. Almost got him, almost got him, almost got him. Okay. So it's a three second cooldown after we use it. I guess. No? Three... Oh, is it three three rooms? Oh, that's kind of fun. That's kind of fun indeed. So health is full, so we can recycle it. Treasure chest. Increase health and immediately double your bombs and keys. Oh, great. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. Oh, it gives us... Oh, that's nice. It gives us one to say, hey, you know, sorry you didn't get anything. God, this is good. This is really good. I like this so far. Hmm. The Departure. New Dream unlocked the Renewal. So it, it looks like we maybe unlocked like a new floor. I don't know if it's a different run entirely or if it's like we've unlocked the second zone where... Because it said Descend, you know? All right, back at it again. So is that kind of just like a between the run thing? Uh, procedurally generated action roguelite with permadeath. With each restart, you will experience different sets of items and dreamscapes to explore. We still have the katana. Okay. I'm trying to figure out logistically what just happened. If we're on the same run, if we keep items or... Oh my god, I cannot time this for the life of me. I was having a much easier time timing the bat. That, that I was clicking with. Yes. Okay, and then that just gave us another bomb for free, I think? Oh, God. Hey, yeah. Oh, my God. What the hell, dude? What the wombo combo? Okay, so we... Waking world. Welcome to the waking world. As Cassidy delves deeper into the dreamscape, she will wake to find herself ready to discover new locations, activities, and people here in the city of Red Haven. Unlike the dream world, the progress made in the waking world will persist. When Cassidy returns to the dreamscape, she will be better equipped to dispatch her nightmares with new unlocks and upgrades. Rogue light. Okay, we got some of them mechanics there. Pull up the map to travel... Sleep and craft. 
I'm sure that's something that we'll unlock later, it's looking like. So go to the Silk Lounge. We got a couple people here that we could talk to. Can daydream at the bar to expand their dreamscape. Approach the end of the bar and press F. Okay. While daydreaming, you can spend glass to fuel their imagination to improve the dreamscape. New upgraded options can be unlocked with the glass she, as she grows stronger. Unlocks the Font of Life, the Font of Lucid, Challenge Rooms in the Departure, Puzzle of Connection. I mean, like, I'll be honest. Oh, Enchantment Room. That sounds kind of fun. Wait, one out of six. Oh, because there's six zones and we can unlock them. The first zone, second zone, etc., etc. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Taylor Park has been unlocked. We can meditate here. Hello. Approach the bench and press F. Okay, so we can spend resolve to focus up, become stronger. All right, okay, what do we got here? Uh, bonus to stats duration. Let's get a little bit of health. I mean, why not, man? And then it looks like that may be the whole kit and caboodle. I think the crafting is something that we will learn in the future. So here we go. Do we start from the uh, zone that we already cleared before? I assume so. If so, then uh, apparently we just wake up. Yeah, okay. Rocket Roadster, remember. All progress you make in the waking world will persist. This means that between dreams... I, I missed that. Uh, what the... D what? Do we start? How do I see what my items are? So we start with the different, uh, straight up different beginning things. Okay, it's kind of cool. We get a slingshot and boxing gloves instead. Is that because we touched the bike, or is that interesting? Okay, this is slick. This is slick. I wish we didn't uh, insta die in that other zone. But, you know, tis with tis. So we have really close range, but it looks like we uh, we have some pretty solid knockback stun-type mechanics going on here. Oh, we can move while slingshotting. That is very neat. I like it. We don't have a key. Let's move. No point in teleporting when we're run one room away from where we need to be there. No big deal at all. Oi! Oh, come on. Oh, that range is very bad, though. There we go. Nice. Okay, when these when you get these going, though, they feel really good. That knockback is no joke. Oh, his range is so much better than mine. Not enough lucid. Is that what it is? The lucid comes back faster when you are... Um, when you are out of combat. Dang, man. We should try and use our parries in combat a little bit more. I think that might be something of uh, of interest or merit. We have a bomb? We do. Should we try this? Eh, we'll see. Idea. Biting dagger. Small but deadly, this dagger comes seeped in poison. It's an idea. Ah, we learned a crafting recipe. That we can then spend some some kind of other resource on back at home. Okay, okay, okay. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, that's so good. Oh, I love that. Okay, uh, drop it. So is this the uh, the market? Market symbol. It sure is. We got three hundred. A key. What else do we got? We can only get this other thing up here. I mean, we can't even get this right now. Corda Cordonazo wins. Uh, 33 armor. Oh, it's a shield. Bonus global damage. Minus ability cooldown. Bomb damage up and radius up. Wind damage up. It's cool, but maybe we could save our money. It's a, it's a key or nah, I think, on that. Because I don't think we're going to be able to get to 600. Got to item. Lucid attack, thundering lunge, shocks, sand, ex uh, extra sand collected, extra lightning damage. 
All of that. Oh! Neat. Neat, 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 neat. Oh my god, that is so cool. I need to use this thing more, too. I just... There's so many little uh, itty bits and of things going on that I respect that they didn't dwell on too long in the tutorial, but it's gonna... It's gonna bite me in the butt for like another probably 10-15 minutes before I remember to utilize all of my active abilities and everything uh, more properly. What do we got there? Is that a key? No, five inspiration. Money is on that being what we use. I just like froze for a second. Which I think was because of something a person did. Is that what you do? Oh, that's so cool! So we can... There we go. There we go. I wanted to get that uh, that clean attack after the dash. I wanted to see what that looked like. But it actually looks like we will get enough for that shield if we want it. Do we want it? That's the old... Oops. Man. Ga roguelike games, action roguelikes, it's always a, a toss-up if it is E or F to interact. Uh, dodge landing pushes enemies back. Range damage up. Off off balanced duration up 20%. As much as I would like it with a different weapon, since we our positioning and placement of everything requires us to get so unbelievably close to enemies. I don't want to risk the mobility right now because it is very much of the essence that we are able to get exactly up close and personal when we need to here. Chris and Cross. Well, I mean, maybe now we can... Companion randomly lobs out bombs around Cassidy, dealing 40 damage, bonus health recovery. Let's... Ooh. 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 Sure. For, for the sake of continually trying new things here uh, in our, our first bout with this game, I think it makes a lot of sense here. Skip. Skip? Interesting. Oh. I'm trying to trying to pop it with that. We don't have enough elusive. We missed all of our shots there. And we missed again, didn't we? Okay. Oh! D uh, what? Okay. There we go. Good. Hip! One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we should have used our ability too, I think. Or maybe instead. Oh, come on. Oh, I thought it was going to be that other attack. He didn't do that one last time. <laughs> he moves where he was shooting those. I thought I was lining myself up perfectly there. We have our slowdown if we need to. I think maybe we do it when he goes to the corner and we try and get those parries. I think that might be a better time to do it. All right, where's he gonna slow? Okay. Yeah, boy. Yep, boy. Yep. Bep, bep. I mean, it's fine. Oh boy. That is so cool, though. No, sir! I think I could probably... I think I can deal damage to him just like that. Well, I mean, that does damage, too. And then we uh, do that again, but we can just skip and hold. Nice. All right. Good deal. Comfy pillow. Increases health and lucid. 
Max uh, HP up by 30%. Max Lucid up by 50%. That seems pretty big. Let's boogie. So do we go uh, uh, and wake up again? Or is that just because we didn't unlock the new zone yet? Correct. That's just because we didn't unlock it yet. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you for reminding me. I knew... Uh, it, it, I think it was saying, like, you haven't pressed this button in a while, you dummy. It's just better. Off-balance duration up, though. So it seems like, yeah, maybe the parrying of this is a little bit worse, janky, bad. But other than that, other than that seems all around better. That's a pretty big deal, though. Ooh, ooh, ooh! That ain't fair. Oh. Okay. I mean, I, I kind of want to try and. Ay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, getting two enemies uh, from different directions in this game is super brutal. Oh, you are weird. There we go. Yikes. Much tougher enemy. I don't know if this is danger. I assu assume it is. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> we like slow down time. Uh, speaking of. Whoop. When we hit an enemy. But then it like. Nobody else around me has to deal with that that kind of like stutter frame, it feels like. That action frame, if you wanna if you wanna call it that. We need to we need to speak the figure out how to speak the language of when to switch to a different target, because it really feels to me like I'm being locked in combat with like one person at a time, but I don't think that's the case. I thought we could maybe kill that. Does this actually bomb? This little thing that comes out? I do not really want to sit around and wait. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice. Please be something that'll heal me. Wanda blasting. Projectile impact triggers. Triggers an energy wave. Dealing 42 damage. Bonus max health and health recovery. Sure thing. Also, it's cool. I like it. I dig it a lot. Uh, I guess we'll sell this too. I would love a shop. We're almost dead. Like, all of our hits came from the generally the same enemy. We don't have any more bombs. I shouldn't be going through these rooms until I know where I'm going here. Because I can just teleport. Okay. Run. That doesn't... I just am not close enough to the enemy. What? The impacts... The one thing I'm noticing, the impacts of the enemy's hits on us feels kind of... Uh, dinky? So that when I just... When I die, I'm like, wait. What, ki what hit me? What killed me? The, the enemy attacks are just... They're kind of dinky. Sketching has been unlocked at the... Caspechi Cafe. What do you got here? Unlock this item to find it in the dream world. Oh. New item options can be found within the dreamscape. Use sparks. Cast these. Collect it to unlock a new item. So we could probably, like, decide to unlock it or not, I guess, in case it's, like, maybe something that's not that good. Yeah, and you can say, uh, put it away or not. And it looks like it costs, uh, one of that one resource that we had. That, like, weird burst kind of, a uh, kind of a thing. Hello there. Alright, uh...
Unlock four new resolutions once we spend that much. I mean, that sounds kind of nice. I'll, I'll work towards it. Sure, get some more mana, basically, I guess. Bit. What else? We got? we got a lot more of this. Uh, improved selection. Each rank unlocks a piece of equipment across in the merchant room. Okay, across the entire dreamscape. Get that then sure extra equipment extra utility item sleeping crap do we not know about this yet no all right let's do one more here or we'll, we'll see we'll see we'll see but yeah some of these hits are like just they're brutal but they feel like they're tickling me like the impact of them is just like oh if we start with a knife a bottle rocket It's kind of fun. Okay. So should we not go for the perfect attacks if we're trying to just, like, defend ourselves quickly? Like, if we're trying to just pull out a really, really quick attack, should we not be trying to go for the perfect attacks? Is it slowing us down? Is the perfect attack if we just want to do a little bit more damage? Oh, yeah, to go all the way up there to get this. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. We got Black Hole. Pulls enemies into a gravity well, off balanced. Critical attacks are 100% more likely for four seconds. Plus 2% critical chance and 10 to the sand collected. Okay. Very, like, uh, the random generation of the items fe feels very Dead Celsian in nature. Like, having all of these little moving part RPG uh, modular mechanics on them. Feels very Dead, dead Celsian. So we can break that one just by, ooh, just by smacking it. Idea blowback. That won't bite me in the butt selling those. Right? Right, 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 right. Yeah, I've, I've always, uh, I've always digged, I'm not saying that they got it from Undermine. In fact, maybe Undermine got it from Dreamscape, or Dreamscape has been in development for a long time. I don't know. I don't know where the, the secret room idea, that style of secret room idea came from where, uh, if you bomb in a room, it reveals where you can bomb, you know? I don't know. Makes you immune to spinning traps. Spinning trap resistance up 100%. Don't mind if I do. But it's uh, it's my ideal secret room uh, mechanic, I'd say. Grants a key. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Another item. We got keys, keys and items out the wazoo right now. Uh, acrobatic shoes. Okay. Uh, ice damage up, leech effects up. I don't think we have any. The dodge feels certainly better for... I don't even have... I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it because it's new. But the dodge mechanic, or the dodge feels a lot smoother. Feels like it's adding a little bit of, like, kind of sorely needed uh, movement autonomy. Lucid Awakening ready. I know. I guess I should use it more is kind of what they're getting at, but I just feel like... Oh. I'm not sure when to. Okay, that felt great. I got too good to use syndrome with it. Am I not immune while I do this? Otherwise, if I'm not immune while I'm doing that, it seems kind of terrible. Seems like, and by that I mean, seems unusably bad. Uh, okay, so we are. We are. Ooh! 
Okay, that felt nice. That felt nice. All right, let's do that room, and then we'll go to the shop, and then we'll go to the boss. yup -ah! I Such a strange... It's such a strange dodge. Such a strange dodge. So what is this one? Is this the enchantment chamber? Destroy keepsake. Upgrade equipment. Why would I... What? Reforge modifiers. Uh... Oh, okay. So it costs sand. It costs sand. What? What is this about? It grants us sa uh, sand. Grants us thirty sand. And what does it take to reforge? Theoretically. Okay, hundred-ish. Okay. Yeah. Again, it seems like the uh, the item system is again very very dead cellsian, which I I enjoy. I also think that there's no point in going to the shop actually. Not with this much resources. Crashing wave strikes absolutely over this. Oh wait, oh it's a wait, it's a weapon. Cool. Very cool. I just upgraded this though. You jerk? How dare you? How dare you? We have 164. I feel like it's just not worth it to spend the key. Even though we have two. I just think it's unlikely that it's going to matter. So it's like, I feel like we can't skip this because then we, um... As, as soon as we skip it... Then we've got to, um... Or we lose out on the items. Which is important. Which one are you gonna sit by? It kind of, it kind of stays around by one of them. What? Why did it target that way? What the hell? Okay. Da da ba ba da ba ba. That's that does a lot of damage, so. Oh, not enough lucid. Oh, you he blocked it! He blocked it with his face. Oh, so we can actually go up and melee as long as we dodge it properly. So that's kinda nice. Our dodge really slows us down. It's not a movement tool. It is a dodge tool. Okay. Yeah, I missed with the other ones. Dup, 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 dup. I can't even see you up there. Ah, oh, I couldn't see him for the visual tell very well there. Yeah, I don't. I yeah 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 yeah. He jumps way off screen. Okay. We can maybe, like, put down the black hole early or something. Nice. Parrying that is huge. I, I bet you it hurts really bad. Uh, increasing health, increases health and boosts your lightning damage. Cool. Cool deal. Descend. Descend.
Finding the nightmare is too strong. Try lucid mode. No. Never. It seems like one of those ones. Yeah, I mean, like it's a it's a rogue light in the sense that there's the uh, there's the different mechanics that you use to make yourself stronger in between the runs. This poor creature. How are you still alive? Because you have something to do with this? I don't know. Oh, what? These guys are gremlins. Oh, that ate my attack. It ate my attack. So I guess we should just, like, do that, I suppose. Feels weird to do. How are you actually still alive? Am I... Oh, no, you just... You really just actually had that much health. Oh, my God, man. Can't we just, like, combo this guy into death right here? Just, just keep going. But, yeah, it's it's got that thing, that roguelite thing, where it feels like the enemies have... I don't know, like, kind of uh, damage spongy... Uh, damage spongy kind of a feeling to them. Which... I, uh, you know is usually why I prefer no meta progression, because you kind of have to do that to an extent. You don't have to, but you kind of do if you've decided that that's what you... Oh, cool, yeah. It's just a better version. Red pit resistance. Thanks. You don't have to, but you kind of feel like you're shoehorned into making it so the enemies just have a lot of... Ow. A lot of health, so you have another thing to, to have upgraded in, in between runs, you know? Hey, yo. Nice. That does quite a bit of damage. Can you still attack? He can still attack. He can still attack. He can still attack. Oh, baby. Roll. It <laughs> does it. it covers like no ground. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you hear you, punk. Thank you. I hate these guys, so killing him would be lovely. Nice roll. Oh, oh, really? That hit, huh? We have a couple of health things on the ground, though. Which is, uh, idea frisbee. I love that. Oh, shoot. It was not the guy I thought he was. I, I really like it when, yeah, they're, they're kind of more simplistic kind of tools. It's, uh, in its, in a sense, it's a grounded game, you know? I'm certainly interested to see. Ooh. It's so slow. It's so slow, which is an issue for me right now. I need to have... I need to have mobility. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, alright. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. That range, though. You champion. Oops. Okay, yeah, this this bottle rocket does feel like it is kind of our best tool in the moment. For sure, for sure, for sure. So we should make sure we are utilizing it properly. But if we can wombo combo somebody into the air and never let them down, like, I feel like we should do it. Oh. Faster lucid. Oh. Hey, yeah. You punk. Okay. We're doing okay, though. All things considered, compared to where we were... Wait. What did we not break? Oh, does this mean that we didn't technically break it all? Okay. 
I thought that was just like a visual remnant thing saying that we just didn't quite finish yet. Or, or like, not that, no, wait, what? No. That we, that there was something there and we killed it. I meant the exact opposite of what I said. You know how that goes. Okay. You dodged that. Nice. Oh! My eyeballs. My eyeballs. Nothing. Go, 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 before it blinds me again. Blast them. Blast them. Pretty much all of these, yeah, they're, they're one-shot boppers for, uh, for what we've got. We have so much money. Oh, baby. Is that like a, oops, like a legendary knife or something? Uh, come Conjures a companion that sweeps alongside attacks. That's kind of fun. Absolutely. And then sure. Let's get a let's get a companion knife. We should have looked at these two, but they're lucid attacks, so eh. Oh, let's go. I like it. That should help us with our issue where we keep running into that lucid attack, wind damage up. Sure, let's give it a go. Okay, I like that. Seems like a... It's not a passive ability, but it's like a... A more passive ability than the others. If you if you catch my drift. We can put it on, we can set it and forget it a little bit more. But yeah, the, this little dagger that is coming out should Im improve our range, basically. Or at the very least, we'll miss less. Okay. All right. Oh, God. Yep. Put on that AoE. Oh, yeah. It's actually... That's that's substantial. It's only six damage, but it's a lot of six damage. <laughs> it's not a big number, but it's a lot of small number to make a big number. Uh, even better roll. Absolutely. Uh 28% chance, dodge, start, triggers, chilling pulse that freezes enemies nearby for four seconds. That's really cool. I guess it's not something we would visually see unless we have enemies around, though. Oh, no, it's there. I thought that noise was it. Alrighty. Oh my. Isolation. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Okay. Can I break that? I can break that. And now I can get in there, get a little bit more damage in. And he just is saying, okay. Okay. Oh, did I dodge that? I think I did. That's crazy that I did, if I did. Nice. Oh boy. Okay, well, we can get in there. We can break this. Then we put down the black hole. We put down our AoE. We get smacking. Ah. We have our slowdown. Which I'm going to do right now. Okay. Oh. I'm... Okay, so, okay, so they were actually frozen in time there. I understand now. Okay. One, two. I missed! Why did it go down there? 
Bye bye. Wasn't too bad. Boop. <laughs> okay, increases health and boosts attack speed by 10%. I mean, sure. Oh, that's noticeable as hell. We did it. The renewal. All done so. New dream unlocked. The remembrance. Oh, is it, is it actually like a little campsite? That's nice. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. We are uh, we are getting to our uh, our closing time here, though. I didn't expect... Honestly, I didn't think we were going to beat that boss and floor. But hey, look at this. Keepsakes don't have levels. Instead, their power usually damage scales with the floor you're currently on. Oh, that's nice. Look at this zone. Look at this zone. I mean, we're probably gonna die, so like, let's uh, let's just poke around, right? Because we're almost certainly gonna die anyways. Oh. Right? Oh my god. You're still alive. Hello there. Oh, that's actually. I didn't. I forgot we can actually go there. That's kind of like a ground. Even though it's. Quite honestly, you know, it intentionally looks like a hole. It is. It isn't ground. Okay. Yeah, we're 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 pretty close to death. Let's be honest. Let's just see this one through here. What is with you guys? Are creeping me out? What? You can attack through the black hole. No. You can attack through the black hole. You weirdo. He has that dash back attack thing. Good stuff. What is this? Nothing. Oh, let me in. Cyclone 5. Ooh. It's kind of fun. We could, I mean, theoretically, if we live for more than two more seconds, we can uh, possibly put down our black hole and get in there and do that. That'd be kind of fun. Oh, I can't do it. Why can't I do it? Just has a long uh, charge up time, I guess. Thank you, son of a gun. Ooh. Ah, I want to use my ability. That's a lot of damage. How the hell are you still alive? Is that other guy healing you or something? Nice. Nah, not. There we go. I mean, I could, I, you know, like, you know, I couldn't even see his attack in the in that big glow, but you know, whatever. <laughs> All right. After some dreams, Cassidy's creativity will surge. Upon exploring to the Red Haven, exploring Red Haven shall discover crafting recipes. Walk up to the blue energy plus F. We'll learn about them. Okay. The crafting station has appeared at the apartment. Handmade coaster. What? Different characters have different interests and gift preferences. I wonder who would love this handmade coaster. I now have the courage to talk to a character at the Silk Lounge. Chit chat. Eve tells Cassidy about the vintage motorcycle they've been restoring. Interest revealed motorcycles. Do you like handmade coaster? Preference revealed handmade coaster. 
Hey. Cass, right? Close enough. Can I help you? I was about to ask you that. Pardon? You come here every day for two weeks. You order a bottle of tonic water. You sit in this spot. And peel the label off or we're real slow. I done near watch me work. Stare at me like I've kicked your cat. Haven't kicked any kittens recently. Recently? Eve. So, what's up? What's on your mind? Why? Don't you have anything better to do? Not really. Nobody comes in this time of day. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh close your ears, sir. <laughs> well, I'm fine. Tired. That's so. I'm not staring at you. Just your postcards. Things were supposed to be different. What postcards is she talking about? Always are. Nothing changes unless you make it. Yeah, well, I did that. Didn't go so great. Thanks for the water. Hmm. Eve's Unlocked items, Eve's Perception. Ooh, that's fun. I'm a, I'm a sucker for that kind of thing. Eve's Perception improves your range attacks as Cassidy gets to know Eve. Ah, that's kind of fun. Let's equip your new influence. Have I done it? Melee weapon. Fighting dagger. Ranged weapon. Bottle rocket. Definitely the roll. Thundering lunge. So you really you can just start with just anything. Meet someone new, face my fears. Cool. Connect with others. 125. Reminisce about home. Find positivities in Red Haven. Get one thing that brings me joy. Work on myself. Take time to daydream. That's nice. I like that. Does it it does it? it, it, it a lot to feel like a, a grounded experience, which I appreciate. Health up. Uh, extra length to a parry window. Five extra damage to bosses. Sure. I don't know, man. Get a little bit of everything. Why not? A little bit of everything there. Can pop on over here. See all this stuff here. What was this? This was to learn the new types of things. Blowback. Parry your enemies and blow them back. Fair enough. Uh, so that's just the name of a shield. Also, there's the frisbee. This I want to see. All that frolfing I did in college pays off, not just for the quad. This bee comes with the ability to ricochet off one another. Talk about a BOGO deal. Oh my god. All right. Well, alas, alas, that is that, and that is going to do it here for Dreamscaper, at the very least for today. If you guys enjoyed this, let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more Dreamscaper. If you want me to uh, series this son of a gun, let me know. I, I, could be, I could be convinced. It seems like it's got a lot of potential. There's like a little bit of, um, yeah, there's like a little bit of like hit clarity kind of thing. Uh, it's going on, and, and I'm not talking like, oh, these enemies' attacks are unfair. I'm saying like, doesn't really feel like I'm being hit sometimes like when I you know just like when you die it kind of just felt like it sort of happened and then when the boss died like would die it was kind of like this sort of like boom snap to cut scene kind of thing like that's, that's kind of like there's that uh it, then uh you know of course it's got the roguelite meta progression which some people love some people don't like so it looks like it, it's got that kind of thing where can you beat it on your first run probably probably uh, but 
it doesn't seem like it expects you to. I think it's one of those. But alas, that's been Dreamscaper 1.0. If you liked it, link at the top of the description. You can pick it up for yourself. And hey, my name is Retromation. I put up videos on indie games every single day, typically specializing in the roguelike genre such as this. Thank you, thank you, though. If you want to leave a like and a comment, it would mean so much to the channel. Holy moly, it would. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.